Okay, so the special case, we know that all the solutions have this form. So these are all solutions. And every solution has this form. So all we need to do is worry about linear independence. So suppose you have a linear combination n r to the n plus alpha 3 n squared r to the n plus out to some alpha. Uh, let's put, make this one 0, 1, 2, out to alpha, uh, alpha m, n to the m, r to the n. Suppose this linear combination is zero, and not all alpha i's are zero. <coughs> so suppose the functions we're talking about are not linearly independent, so there's a linear combination which is zero. OK, so take the highest term where the coefficient is not 0. Well, throw away the rest of them. So I'm going to assume without loss of generality that that one is not 0. OK, then apply a minus r to the m minus 1. Apply this to that expression. What will you get? When you apply a minus r to any of these things, it'll kill them. They'll all be gone. But when you apply a minus r to that, you won't kill them. You'll get a constant times r to the n, and the constant won't be 0. So you'll have 0 is a non-zero constant times r to the n. That's not true, unless the constant is 0. OK. So you apply this, and it kills all terms except the last. And then the last one would have to be 0. It would require a 0 coordinate, but you've already assumed that it's not zero. OK, and so this completes the argument in the case that you have a single root. Now you've got to take care of the multiple roots and back to the general theorem.